when you look at this past week in the NFL, you see a lot of things changed a little bit. Some teams did well at the trade deadline, which ended yesterday at 3 o'clock on the dot. Some teams did not. I don't, don't want to know about you know some of these things, man, because, I mean, my goodness. <sighs> Some guys got fired. Dennis Allen got fired after losing to the Carolina Panthers. You know, Bryce Young is going to start, you know, against the Giants in London. Oh, wait, not in London, Germany. Right, the London games already happened. So, yeah, forget about the Germany. They get a game. Uh, the Cowboys are looking even worse. Just absolutely nothing. You know, not only did they lose to Atlanta, they made a trade that makes absolutely no sense. Um, you know, Khalil Davis is now a 49er. Um, let's see. Or let's see what are the, what's the other big ones. Um, Cam Akers, that went down before the deadline. You know, though. So, you know, Cam Akers is a Viking again. Um, you know, uh, again, the Cowboys, like I said, they got Jonathan Mingo. And what in the world is Jerry Jones thinking? He's just, he just, it's a nothing receiver. He, he hasn't done anything. Like, the Ravens get Tredavious White. You know, and the Rams, you know, send away another pick. Like, you're, you're joking with me, right? The Steelers got Preston Smith and Mike Williams. This stuff is baffling. Marshawn Lattimore is now a Washington commander. You want to tell me? You want to tell me that Jonathan Domingo is the guy? Hit wide receiver that will help offset, you know, you know, CD not being, you know, the greatest. Dak is injured now with a hammy. For weeks, four weeks. You know, Vikings upgraded their OL. They got Cam Robinson. You know, I'll tell you, Johnson is a Baltimore Raven. So the wide receiver room in Baltimore was already, you know, starting to, you know, get a little bit better. That is a good pickup. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Josh Oosh. He's a Kansas City Chief. A lot of teams are just tanking for the sake of tanking. You know, like DeAndre Hopkins is a Chief. You know, Oosh is a Chief. You know, just, just, you know, just, just kind of, at this point, I don't even know. We had three overtime games this week. One of them involved Kansas City, of course, you know, which Tampa Bay probably should have taken the two-point conversion at the end of the game. You know, again, ref ball. Again, it's just at this point, you know, ref ball and Kansas City games go hand in hand. But at the end of the day, Kansas City was still able to drive down the field, though. So Tampa Bay can't complain too much because they should have stopped ten. Uh, Kansas City when it happened, when you have Travis Kelsey going off, K. Dotton for the Bucks going off. <clears throat> you know, it's a fun time. Um, Indianapolis proved to us why they only flexed this game in for Sunday night because that game was terrible between, you know, Flacco, who looked rough. Minnesota rattled him a little bit. You know, um, Minnesota's offense, you know, Jay Jettis, still, he is still him. Um, but again, Minnesota bolstering their old line because again, they, they've had some issues, you know, on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball sometimes, you know, so Minnesota back of the winning column. So they haven't completely collapsed yet. So just so you know, um, the Rams beat the Seahawks in overtime. That was the second overtime game in which, Seattle had way too many turnovers yet again. The defense failed yet again. Seattle's season is spiraling out of control. Same thing with Chicago. Their season is spiraling 
out of control, you know, losing to Arizona like that. They got smacked. Caleb Williams got hurt. It was rough. Philadelphia, I don't know what's wrong with y'all. You got to try and stay in the pace of things Washington. You get the Dallas Cowboys this week, Philadelphia. You get, you get my Dallas Cowboys in the national window because – God loves to see the suffering. Uh, don't you just love being a masochist? I love being a masochist for the Dallas Cowboys. Because there is nothing but pain and suffering. And I'm just going to, you know, just take it in. If Saquon Barkley can continue to do what he does. You know? Because the rest of the offense doesn't know what they're doing half the time. You know, like A.J. Brown got hurt again. Jalen Hurts. It's Jalen Hurts. Nick Sirianni is Nick Sirianni. Like, Philadelphia is a somehow functional team, and yet they act like the most dysfunctional team of all time. You know, Baltimore beat the brakes off of Denver. I thought this was going to be a shootout because Baltimore's pass defense was bad, like worse than the league. But um, that didn't happen. Again, the additions that Baltimore has now, you know, makes them an even stronger unit. You know, their next opponent will be the Cincinnati Bengals, who took care of business against Las Vegas tomorrow night in a game in which Cincinnati is trying to get to 500. You know, again, the the Ravens offense is a deadly force, you know, with Derrick Henry, Lamar Jackson, you know, say Flowers emerging as a wide receiver. One, Rashad Bateman is another guy that's just kind of, you know, doing his thing. And again, you know, Ravens added more pieces to their arsenal. Um, Tennessee, New England went to OT as two, but I mean Drake may got, you know, got smashed, you know, and somehow Mason Rudolph got Tennessee a victory. I I don't I don't know how. Uh, the Chargers they quickly shut down the Jameis Winston, you know, savior hype with beating the bricks off Cleveland. Buffalo beat Miami because Miami can't seem to win close games at all. You know, they lose again by a game-winning field goal. Uh, New York, the Jets surprisingly beat Houston. Houston's been kind of a head-scratcher, but I get it because Stephon Diggs is out, but everybody else needs to start stepping up. You can't be just Joe Mixon all day, you know what I'm saying? And again, Dylan Allen got fired, so... Because, you know, you don't lose to the Carolina Panthers. Washington, they took care of business against New York, the Giants. It wasn't really taking care of business. When when Terry, when Terry McLaurin, you know, has two catches for 19 yards and two touchdowns, you know you're doing something. Daniel Jones had a stat line of like four for eight with zero yards at one point. Just the Giants are a meme in and of themselves, so. This week, we're kind of asking, you know, Tampa Bay, are they in trouble now? They have San Francisco this week. Um, again, Philadelphia, like I said, they got to stay with Washington in the NFC East. You're going to play the Cowboys. Not a very good Cowboys team again. You know, Cooper Rush should be starting. Um, Houston, they got to get back on the winning side. But again, they face Detroit, who just absolutely dismantled Green Bay. I'm talking Jordan Love and company look lost on that field. They look lost in Lambeau. And, I mean, yet again, Jerry Goff had a absolutely mind-numbingly beautiful stat line. Let me tell you. Just he, he'll complete like 10 or 15 of his first 15 passes. He'll go 15 straight completions right out the gate, you know, barely be at 100 yards and, you know, have like two or three touchdowns, you know, already, you know, thrown with Gibbs and Montgomery in the backfield, you know, provide TDs too, you know. So, so Detroit and Houston will square off on Sunday night. The Rams trying to get over 500 and, you know, kind of take care of business on Monday night against Miami because Miami is pretty bad. Uh, you get San Francisco trying to stay in the fight. Arizona has a game against the Jets this week, trying to stay in the fight. The NFC West, we all know, will be a dog fight. Broncos, I don't know if they can actually beat the Chiefs, but can they? We'll find out, you know. We will find out. So you're probably wondering, hey, big boy, what about those midseason predictions, huh? You got some midseason predictions, huh? Well, 
let me tell you. Let me tell you. So let me go with my AFC playoff teams first. So again, stuff is starting to come into focus now for me. So let me just tell you right off the bat, we're going to have our four division winners here. Um, we're, we're basically set, to be quite honest with you, as far as division winners are concerned. But the other three playoff teams are – where it's like you know what 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 do we do there you know what what kind of what kind of stuff are we doing there mm, you yeah. know um, and I think at the end of the day we are going to get something a little bit you know a little bit interesting you know a little bit interesting I, I think um, you know something that happens you know you know what I'm saying. Um, I still think at the end of the day, we are getting these playoff teams in the AFC. We are getting these playoff teams. We are getting Cincinnati. Yes, they will recover at, at you know, it's, it's a certain point. Sorry about that. Um, work. Work popped up for a second, so I have to take care of that because I need I need work for Tuesday. Uh, but yeah, Buffalo, Houston, Baltimore, Kansas City. I think all those teams will win the AFC divisions at some point. Probably, maybe if Pittsburgh has something to say about that, they have a big game again against Washington. So, Russ, big Russ versus Jay Daniels. In a good one, to be quite honest with you, because that is a good-looking game, T.J. Watt. Want to be against J. Daniels? Boy. Boy, let me tell you. So, um, and again, like a lot of things are just kind of set in stone already, which is the crazy part, because there are so many teams in in the – both in the NFL in general that just have – two wins or three wins or one win and it, they just don't move the needle. You know, like the Cowboys look pathetic. Don't move the needle. New England, terrible. Tennessee, terrible. Miami, terrible because they got off to a bad start, you know, because of Tua getting hurt. But they were terrible regardless. Carolina, terrible. New Orleans has lost seven straight. New York, the Jets, terrible. Yeah, they got to win against, against Houston, but that's any given Sunday in the NFL. Y'all know this. We all know this. Um, you know, <clears throat> it's just it's just a lot of it's just a lot of terribleness, you know, at this point. And you know what I think is going to happen <laughs> in the NFC is a little bit different. You know, just a little bit different. I think we're getting washed in Philadelphia, Detroit, Green Bay. Yes, Green Bay. I know they haven't looked the greatest. Minnesota, Atlanta, and somebody's going to have to come out the West, and it's going to be Arizona, I think. Now, you know, um, I think my Super Bowl prediction will remain the exact same as before. You know, I think my prediction is going to stay the same, which is Kansas City will defeat the Detroit Lions in the Super Bowl to win their third straight Super Bowl. That is my prediction. Still, I still think we're getting that somehow with the storyline of Kansas City still being unbeaten, you know, looking, you know, not like the greatest unbeaten, kind of like how Pittsburgh, you know, during the pandemic wasn't, you know, the greatest at like 11 and 0 before they lost their first game. It's going to be one of those. It's going to be one of those kinds of years, you know, I think. But we'll see. It's still a long season to go, but the NFL again is unforgiving. It is a merciless beast. There's so many injuries, there's so many people that have to step up into new roles to overtake you know, something that, you know, may, you know, get interesting because, again, NFL is a crazy beast and it's a lovely one, you know, but I love it all the same. Love it all the same. Same thing with college football. Even though it's a crazy beast, I love it all the same. 
it's stuff that I can actually debate over, you know, and not get tired, you know, because you know, something else happened yesterday aside from the CFP rankings, but I don't want to talk about it right now. So in any case, I'm going to get on about here and I'm going to let you guys enjoy your evening because it is barely six o'clock. It's dark outside, which is great because I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to go to sleep, man, to be quite honest with you. So I'm going to get on up out of here. And y'all take care. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Big Boy Sports. And I'll see you soon with more content. <laughs>